Hi everybody! Today I would like to introduce you to my comrades from the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union. I am joining these comrades in a matter cemetery in Da Nang City, Vietnam, for a very important and solemn occasion. Today is July 27th, Vietnam's Day of War Invalids and Martyrs. On this day, Vietnamese people commemorate all the soldiers who fought for our socialist revolution especially those who were injured and died in the many wars that Vietnam was forced to fight for our freedom and self-determination. Vietnam has hundreds of chapters of the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union, and this is a tradition which the chapter of the Da Nang University of Education and Science performs every year, bringing flowers and burning incense for martyrs in a martyr cemetery in Lien Tiu District, Da Nang City. This is a day when all Vietnamese people, young and old, show our respect for those who sacrificed their lives and health to help build our socialist revolution. Through over 40 years of fighting against fascist Japan, colonialist French, imperialist USA, and the genocidal communist regime, Vietnam has had over 1.1 million martyrs, 800,000 injuries, over 300,000 martyr bodies which have not yet been identified, as well as over 200,000 soldiers whose bodies have not yet been found. That is the price which was paid for the peace we enjoy today. And Vietnamese people will never forget, which is why we pay respect to our fallen comrades on this day every year. Vietnam's Day of War Invalids and Matters was first held in 1947. Today, there are over 3,200 martyrs cemeteries across all 63 cities and provinces of Vietnam. To commemorate this occasion and to honor the martyrs of our wars of socialist revolution and independence, Vietnamese people visit these martyr cemeteries and burn incense and leave flowers and other items to show our respect and deep gratitude to these revolutionary heroes. I'm a veteran. I fought in this B-1 Tuan Phuc battlefield. This martyr here was a comrade in the same unit of mine. In 1974, he went back down here to fetch some rice for the unit in the mountain. He also wanted to visit his family. When he was walking home from the village to the rice field, they shot him. His name was Dean Swan Kim. There were a total of three comrades who died that day. Comrade Tun was buried in Hua Lian Cemetery. The third one was buried in another cemetery. I joined the army in 1966. Our base was on a mountain. I was just 16 when I became a soldier. I was with this martyr on the day he died. I went with him to visit his family in Tain Khe district. Then the invaders saw us, they shot us. He walked right behind me. My grandpa died in 1968. 1968? That was a long time ago. On what battlefield? In the battlefield in the highland. In the highland. Did they find your grandpa's grave? Yes. My family was informed by the government that they had found my grandpa's grave and they moved him to a martyr cemetery in the highland. At that time, my family was still very poor, so we couldn't move him back to our hometown. We also wanted him to be with his comrades. Oh yes, he would want to be with his comrades. My grandpa died when my dad was just 10. My family was too poor to have even a picture of him. Nobody knows what my grandpa looked like. 1968 was the most fierce year. Lots and lots of Vietnamese soldiers died in 1968 and 69. Many times they starved to death right in their hammocks. They also died from malaria and B-52 bombers. Battlefields in the highland were also sprayed with toxins by the enemy. It was so miserable. For now, just let your grandpa stay with his comrades. You can bring him home when you're able to. Nowadays, we have maps for all martyr graves. The government will also help bring them home to their families. Soldiers like me who survived, on this day, we go to as many cemeteries as we can to visit our comrades. I visit this comrade every year. He died when he was just 22. He was so young. You should try your best to keep this tradition alive because it's thanks to these martyrs that we have peace today. It is really good that today young people like you burn incense for the dead ones.
students, veterans, family members of martyrs, as well as normal Vietnamese citizens, bring flowers, cakes, and fruits as gifts for the martyrs. We burn incense to console martyrs' souls and to tell them that we still remember them. In traditional Vietnamese belief, incense has a very important meaning. When we burn incense, the smoke will become a way for living people to connect to and contact the dead. We burn incense in many of our important events in our life, such as New Year's Eve, funerals, death anniversaries, new moons and full moons on the lunar calendar, and so on. My name is Tu Quang Ming. I'm a student at the Mathematics Department at Da Nang University of Education. The reason why I came to this Martyrs Cemetery today is that I want to commemorate all the heroes and the martyrs who sacrificed for our country. These martyrs helped our people have a peaceful life today. And secondly, I want to create a meaningful opportunity for other students to learn more about the good deeds that our previous generation have done for us and help make students become more united and connected with one another. Young generations of Vietnamese people will never forget our history. We will forever remember what our ancestors had to sacrifice so that we could have a better life, free of imperialist, colonialist, and fascist oppression. With the help and support of the Vietnamese government, the Communist Party of Vietnam, the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union, veteran unions, and many, many organizations, our tradition will be kept alive and our history will be remembered. We, the next generations of Vietnamese, will protect our peace, freedom, and independence, and we will keep building socialism no matter the cost. We know that one day all workers around the world will achieve communism, not just in Vietnam, but around the world. And Vietnamese martyrs served on the front lines of this global revolution for the liberation for all humanity. I hope with this video today, you can have a closer look at the youth of Vietnam, about who we are and how we are organizing to build socialism and solidarity. As you can see, we are uniting and organizing to build a better Vietnam, and at the same time, we make sure that our history and our heroes will never be forgotten. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, I will show you more about volunteer campaign of these same members of the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union. In this campaign, we went to a very remote mountainous area and did a lot of work to help local people over there. Please subscribe and stay tuned. See you next time and solidarity.